Hi. In this episode, I'll try to analyze patterns in population names from free data on the internet. And you can absolutely do this yourself. Links to the data I use are in the description. I'm starting with some background layers from Natural Earth. On the downloads, you can get data of different scale and type. And for this video, I'm using a few cultural and physical layers in large scale. To do my analysis, I need population data in point format, and for that I use GeoNames. On the website, I download the free gazetteer for US. You can even download all countries in a single zip file. Some countries have a lot of data, some do not. US is one of the larger ones. In the zip file, there are two text files. The main data file and a readme file with column names and definitions of data formats for the table. You don't need to, but it helps a lot, to add the column names to the main data file. All point objects are on a single line with fields separated by a tab. Use the field names from the readme file and make sure you have separated the names by a tab on the first row in the data file. Save the file and select Add Delimited Text Layer in QGIS. Browse for the file and make sure that tab is set as the only delimiter in the dialog. If the X and Y fields aren't detected, you can set them manually. Check the table preview so that everything looks fine and press OK. Working with a very large text file can be slow, so you can choose to save your data in a different file format or export it to a database. I'm going to use the data in a spatially indexed PostGIS database, but any format will work. In the layer, there are several classes for geographic names, and I'm only interested in population centers. This is presented as a P in the feature class field of the table. In the layer properties, I use the query builder to filter out only features that have this P in the feature class field. Instead of a simple point style, I'll be using a heat map style with a modified color gradient. In order not to cover the base layer too much, I use transparency on some ramp colors as well as on the layer. The heat map layer will show me where points in the layer are concentrated, and for all points it looks like this. I want to look at patterns, so I add to my layer query and use a like statement on the name feature. I also use the upper function to convert all letters to uppercase in order to get all variants. In the statement I can type parts of a name and see if there is a pattern to it on the map. Let's start with the ridge. Well, the large cities will be overrepresented, but there are some other focus areas. Let's try flat. Fewer, but none of them are in the cities. Interesting. How about hill? Or wood? Or maybe bay? Hmm. Since this is immigration country, 
I wonder if there are any Sweden. <laughs> Look at that, there are. See you next time.